793D model. Operator complaint is the truck lags in first, second, and third gear. It takes forever to shift into fourth, and then shifts fine. We are getting upshift solenoid errors. There's a shot of the transmission right there. We are under the bed, behind the cab. Now you guys can't see it. Let's go straight for that upshift solenoid connector. Check it out. We are right on top of the transmission. We're gonna take this step off. Underneath is all three of our shift solenoid. Just got that guard off. Just wanted to show you guys if you can see it here. That one there, little metal tag says LU for lockup. Downshift, which is this middle one. Upshift, which is this one here. We get a scraper, we're gonna get this cleaned up. Start investigating. All right, took that cover off, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Look at here, you can see where it's been rubbing. But we haven't gotten through the wire yet. This is actually for the lockup. But look at the solenoid. It's all loose. The rest of them are tight. I mean, you can orient it however you want, but once you tighten it down, that's it, it's tight. So let's investigate this one a little further. We also want to check out the wiring on this one. Just doing a quick visual right now. This wire was also tucked all weird down in here, down around behind, a bunch of rocks and stuff on it. Look at that right there. That's chafed all the way through to bare wire right there. Like I said, this one was tucked all down in here and around. Most likely, this was shortened to the transmission, which would pull the signal, would pull the, the voltage down to ground, cause this solenoid not to have any power to do its job. So let's repair that, and then we'll see what we get. Well, here's our after. We just tightened up this uh, lockup solenoid. And you can see this connector here. This one wire is a little longer than the other, so we cut that bad section out, repinned it. Here's a look at it. This is the original wire. Right there's that little spot where it had chafed through. Uh, so we'll put it back together, verify the repair. Type in E list here. E-L-I-S-T, okay. It's gonna let us know what codes we've had. There's our upshift solenoid error. So this is the hours that was on it and the duration of the code, five, five seconds. So it's definitely intermittent. We have a bunch of those. Okay, and you hit okay. Now let's type in E-A-C-K. Okay, now this is our active codes. All we have is that the park brake is on. That's the beginning of the list. So we fixed it guys. No more upshift solenoid errors.